All right, so I gotta come clean. I haven't been entirely honest with you all, and I just wanted to apologize for that. See, I've been working on the 1978 Datsun 280Z. That's a project you all know and love and are familiar with. But then I came to the realization that, that I have a problem, and it's, it's a pretty serious one, and that, let me just, that's right. It's not the only Z that I have. This is my 1974 Datsun 260Z that I built back in college. And since we're approaching and or past 260 subscribers, thank you. I figured now would be a good time to introduce this one as well. This thing was sitting in a junkyard getting ready to get crushed. And I didn't have the money to buy an actual one that was running and had all four wheels and everything like that. So I picked this one up, saved it from the crusher for a whopping $150. I brought it home, got the title transferred over, and got all the paperwork sorted out. And then I began a plan of what to do with it naturally, being a young 16, 17 year old new driver, I wanted to build a street legal race car. And with that in mind, I kind of sent it. We small block Chevy swapped this, put a six speed T56 uh, transmission in it. I put a Infiniti Q45 R200 rear end, did a CV conversion, five lug hubs all the way around, disc brakes all the way around. Had a lot of fun with this car, finished building it out in college years. And I spent two years in metal fab putting four boards in it, putting a half cage, four point cage in it, uh, built a subframe connector for it to stiffen everything up, stitch well to the entire chassis, uh, epoxy primer the body, and then used zero rust, which I wouldn't recommend, uh, on the chassis inside and outside. We'll go over that in a future episode, but coilovers all the way around. Uh, this thing's got a ton of nice stuff in it, but it looks like crap, so... We're gonna give it a wash and then we're gonna pull it into the shop and get busy doing some stuff to it. I went to Caffeine and Octane a few weeks ago and normally I'm not a car show guy. I like to just drive and do my own thing and um, or build. So the problem with building by yourself is you slave away in the garage for hours, which leads to hundreds of hours, which leads to thousands of hours alone in your little cave and you don't really get out and see the reasons why you do what you do. And that was kind of the, the crux that I was running into, which was lack of motivation, right? Um, so I went with a buddy of mine who invited me to Caffeine and Octane. Uh, it was an amazing event and it got me motivated to do some other things. Normally I'm so single track minded that once I start working on a particular project, I go until that one is complete or at least until I've said it's complete, right? So. We've been working on the 1978 280Z for quite a while, and in that time frame, I've let my 260Z V8 swap fall into a state of disrepair. So, had some issues with it uh, prior to being parked. This thing's been parked for about five years, so, but charged the battery up, primed the carburetor, and it fired up over in about a half a turn. So, that was exciting. It's still in good condition as far as that goes, but it's got some little quirks that I was gonna sort out. The original plan was to build this mechanically, tear everything down, and then cosmetically make it look pretty, put it all back together and have a nice little neat package until we started running into the uh, little quirks and issues that plagued it. Uh, one was a fuel delivery issue. Uh, the other one was a little bit of stuttering issue that I traced back to my brand new carburetor. I uh, threw a quick fuel 650 on it, a double pumper, mechanical secondary, and the idle block on the front. Uh, ended up having some clogged jets, so got all that sorted out. It cranks up and runs fine, but it's still got some mixture issues. And for that, we're going to throw on a, a little O2 Lambda sensor that I bought a long time ago and try to get some stuff sorted out on it and do a little bit of tuning and see if we can't get it running any better. So that's my 74 Datsun 260Z. You'll see it around in the future a lot more, especially if you're here for the Z content. Don't worry, even when I get finished with the 280, I still got a ton of stuff to do to this one, so hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, we're going to get busy installing this O2 sensor on it, and um, again, thank you for all subscribing to more than 260 of you so far, so it's much appreciated. It does not go unnoticed, and there's going to be more to come, so stay tuned.
much driving over five years and we made it to the gas station, so that's a plus. Well, it wouldn't have been a successful test drive if we didn't break down at least once. So we only broke down twice, and uh, for not running in five years, I'd say that's just pretty good odds. So uh, it needs some attention. So we're going to end this episode there. That's the introduction of the uh, 74 Datsun 260Z small block Chevy swap. There's a ton of details and things I'll go into in the future. Just wanted to say thank you for liking and subscribing. If you like the Z stuff, there's more to come. So appreciate the 260 subscribers so far. As always, click that thumbs up button. If you got any questions, leave a comment below. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and turn your bell notifications on. That way you get notified just as soon as I post another video. I appreciate it as always. And until next time, thanks for watching this video. Oh,